Good evening, everyone. This is Robert. RJL Network presents another exciting edition of Inside Pitch. The 1972 World Series is on the air. We are back at the Astrodome. This is game two as the Kansas City Royals take on the Houston Astros. The Royals lead this series one game to none as they pounded the Astros pretty much last night. As Phoenix Knight says, is it enough to wake up Houston? We will find up. We will find out today if the Astros can tie this series up or can the Royals take us take a 2-0 lead back to Kansas City Municipal Stadium. I think this is a must-win game for the Astros. Phoenix Knight and Jeremy Brooks are first to join us here at the Astrodome. So it is time for Friday Night Baseball. And how could you not have a good Friday Night game featuring the 72 World Series between the Royals and the Astros? This is what's exciting. You never know what's going to happen. And this has been an exciting postseason so far. Maybe the best postseason I've done yet. Although a lot of people say that 1979 was the best one I've done. Let, but we're not done yet with this postseason. We still have a few games to play. So hopefully everyone gets in here for a big World Series matchup. And uh, we're ready to go. So let's play some baseball. Starting pitcher for the Houston Astros tonight. Their number two starter, Larry Durker. He has a record of two wins. And no losses for the postseason. He was 15 and 8 with a 3 4 0 ERA uh, historically in the regular season. As Brian B now joins us here at the Astrodome. So, what will happen tonight? Durker is 2 0. Is he due for a loss or is he going to continue to get the Astros some wins? Anything is possible here in inside pitch and usually is. Let's get to the top of the first as John Haverly and DB join us here at the Astrodome. Let's play some baseball. Leading off for the Royals is the shortstop, Freddie Patek. He is batting 340 for the postseason. He does have a home run. He's an MVP candidate. Using blue, white, and blue dice, Astros are the home team. The Astrodome, Pitchers Park, um... Neutral but favors pitchers, 114 home runs in 72, adds two to strikeouts, and adds one to walks. Can the Astros tie this series up, or will the Royals be taking a big 2-0 series lead? There's only, way, there's only one way to find out. We have to play. So let's go to the first pitch. Durker, 3-5, strikeout 11. That's going to miss. Patek. 4-5, and that's a line drive right to short. That'll be caught by Metzger. Roger Metzger makes the grab, and that is out number one. Doug Hunt joins us here at the Astrodome. Next batter is the center fielder, Amos Otis, underrated player in history, batting 275 with a bomb for the postseason. Durker, 4-4. Four, four. That is a blank. Otis. 6-6 six, six, at the fly ball hit the right field. Jimmy Wynn is going to get to that with no trouble. Two down. And now we'll see the right fielder, Richie Scheinbloom. He's batting 300 for the postseason. Joshua Miller now here at the Astrodome. Durker, 3-2 against the switch left. Against the switch left, that's a home run result against the righty. Shine Bloom needs a six. That is a three. And once again, the Royals get out in front early. Kaboom! That ball is high. That ball is deep. And that ball is gone. Home run, Richie Shine Bloom. And for the second straight game, the Royals jump out in front. Larry Durker pitched Shine Bloom a meatball. He turned that into lasagna. It's 1 0 in favor of the Royals. That's the first home run of the postseason by Shine Bloom. So, just like that, the Royals jump out in front. 
And now the first baseman, John Mayberry. He's batting 265 for the playoffs with two bombs. Jimmy Jam and XESG joins us here, too, at the Astrodome. Durker, 1-6, walk, 16. That's going to miss. Mayberry, 5-3, fly ball to left field. Bob Watson is going to get there. He'll make the catch and retire the side. One run on one hit. A solo bomb by Richie Scheinbloom puts the Royals out in front. But we go to the bottom of the first. Starting pitcher for the Kansas City Royals tonight is Dick Drago. He's had a very rough postseason. No wins and three losses. Is this the night that he finally gets a victory in the playoffs? Leading off for the Astros, the shortstop, Roger Metzger, batting 270 for the playoffs. Drago, a 1-1 wild pitch ball one. 3-5, strikeout 10, that's going to miss. Metzger, 1-5, and against the righty, it's a base hit right past short. So Metzger leads off with a single for the Royals, for the Astros. Infield, a double play. Next batter is the center fielder, Cesar Cedeno, tearing up the postseason, although he's cooled off the last couple of games, but still only batting 542. Strategy roll. Metzger gets the steal sign. 14 plus zero. And the catcher, Kirkpatrick, a zero. And they are going to send him. Metzger on his way to second. A one to 14. He is safe. And he is. Metzger will get a stolen base. And if you're the Astros, you got to be a little aggressive in this game. You cannot go back to, the, to Kansas City down to love. So Metzger steals second base. Strategy roll again. Nothing on the 15. He will stay. Drago with the pitch. Drago, 5-4, walk four. That's ball four. And Drago already off to a rough start. He walks Cedeno. Now runners at first and second for the right fielder. Jimmy Wynn. He's batting 188 for the postseason. Way under his average. Infield a double play. Nothing on the eight. Drago will go ahead and pitch. Drago, 4-5. That's a range play. Win, 5-1. And against the righty, it's a fly ball to left field. Going after that is sweet. Lou Pinella. Pinella's range is a three. He can't get it. And that's going to be a base hit to left field. Will it score Metzger? Base runner, four. Single to left, plus one, a one to five. Metzger will score. We got a tie game. Metzger scores. Cedeno will make third. Win holds it first, and we're tied at one. So Dick Drago, the, the Royals get a quick one nothing read. Then Dick Drago gives up a base hit, a walk, and another base hit. And now the batter is the first baseman, Lee May. May is batting 343 for the postseason. He does have a home run. My Basement Media Productions and Joel Turney join us here at the Astrodome. Infield's going to play in. Strategy, nothing on the 15. Drago, 4-5, again with the range play. May, 4-3. It's a ground ball to short. That ball is hit to Freddie Patek. His range is a four, but the infield in, it's a two, and he's got it. He has it. Cesar Cedeno, his base running rating is a one. Uh, with the infield in, they're not going to send him. Win is going to go to second. The throw goes to first to get May one away. What a play by Patek. And runners at second and third. And now that'll bring up the left fielder, Bob Watson. Watson batting 344 for the playoffs. He has a couple of bombs. Vita Productions joins us here at the Astrodome. Strategy roll. Nothing on the seven. Nobody moves. The infield will stay in. Drago, 5-6. Strikeout. 17 is high. Watson, 5-3. It's a ground ball to short. That ball is hit to the shortstop. 
I'm going to roll to see if they send Cedeno uh, with the infield in his base running rating as a one. They will hold him. The throw will go to first to get Watson two down. That's a house rule I use. So if I feel like I'm not 100% sure, I roll a die. So two outs, and now the third baseman, Doug Raider. Raider batting 258 for the playoffs. Now two away. If Drago can get out of this inning with only giving up the one, with the run one, he'll, be, he'll consider himself lucky. Nothing on Strat. Drago, 5-2. That is a home run chance. Righty, 1-16. to The 16 is good against a right-handed pitcher. Raider needs a 15. Does he put the Astros ahead? Oh, pretty much so. That ball probably wound up in the upper deck. Kaboom! High, deep, and gone! Three-run bomb, Doug Raider! Stadium cheers! Yay! A three-run blast by Doug Raider. That's his first home run of the postseason. And the Royals got out in front, but the Astros now lead it 4-1. to one. Dick Drago's just had a very rough playoffs. Next batter is the second baseman, Tommy Helms. Helms is batting 333 for the playoffs. Drago will pitch. Drago, 4-3, blank. Helms, 5-5, five, five, base hit. The hits continue. That's a single pass third. And the Astros are doing to the Royals what the Royals did to the Astros last night. And here's the catcher, Johnny Edwards. He's batting 214 with a bomb. Anything on Strat? And the three says no. Helms will stay put. Drago, 1-4. That's a blank. Edwards, 5-2. Base hit. Hits right past first base. Helms will have the speed. He'll get to third. And it's now runners at the corners. So the Astros looking for more here. As Drago getting slammed in this first inning. And now they'll bring up the pitcher, Larry Durker, who batted 167 and 72 with four bombs. Two outs. Four to one Astros as they've already taken a big lead here. Strategy roll. That's a 20. Drago fires the first to get Edwards, but Edwards will get back. Now Drago will pitch. Drago, 2-2. Two, two. That is a possible error. Durker, 1-4. Base hit to right field. It's a single for Durker. Right fielder Scheinblum, his error rating is a 9. That's a 3, and he's going to make an error out there. So here's what happens. Helms will come in to score. It's, an auto, it's a single and an error, which means Edwards automatically winds up on third. Durker automatically winds up on second. Edwards, a, Edwards, his base running rating is a two with two outs. So a two or lower, Edwards will score as well. He won't. He'll hold the third base. Durker stays at second, but another run comes in. And it's five to one Astros. Stadium cheers. Yay. So a single and an and an E9. First error on the Royals. And the Royals are just not helping themselves here. Already a 5-1 Astro lead. And the Astros have batted around in the first inning. Here's Metzger. He got a single to start the inning off. Nothing on the 10. Drago will pitch to Metzger. Drago, 3-1. That's a blank. Metzger, 4-3. And that's a ground ball to second base. That'll get taken care of by Rojas. And over to first it goes. And the inning is over. Five runs. Six hits, one error, a walk, a stolen base, a three-run bomb by Doug Raider. 
And the Astros have a 5-1 lead here after one. What a way to start the game for Dick Drago. We go to the top of the second. Long way to go, though. Left fielder Lou Pinella leads off for the Royals. He's batting 269 with a bomb. He is now getting closer to his average. Durker with the pitch. Durker, 3-3, walk, 10. That will miss. Pinella, 6-1, single into right field. Pinella gets a leadoff hit. And he'll hold it first. And now the catcher, Ed Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick's batting 256 with a bomb in the postseason. Infield a double play. Strategy. Pinella will stay where he is. Durker with the pitch. Durker, 6-1, blank. Kirkpatrick, 3-5, ground out to first. 1-1-1. One, one, one. Shortstop, pivot, Metzger, 0. Only a 1 will be a double play. Nope. Pinella will be thrown out at second base, and Kirkpatrick will make first on the fielder's choice. One down, and now the third baseman, Paul Shaw. He's batting 222 with a couple of bombs in the postseason. Nothing on the strategy. Kirkpatrick stays at first. Durker now has a four-run lead to work with. 3-1, walk, three, that's ball four. So Durker will walk Shawl, and now runners in first and second. First walk given up by Durker. He had 51 of them in 72. And now the second baseman, Cookie Rojas. He's batting 255 for the playoffs. Runners at first and second for Kansas City. Astros already up 5-1 here in the second inning. But there's still a long way. There's got a long way to go. Strategy roll, nothing happening. Durker with the pitch. Durker, 6 2. That's a blank. Rojas, 4 5. And that's a fly out to center field. And Cesar Cedeno is going to get to it. He will make the catch. Kirkpatrick, a base runner, 3. Hit the center, minus 2. Cedeno, minus 1. Kirkpatrick will stay at second base. And that will bring up the pitcher, Dick Drago. And although EXG says you got to go to a pinch hitter, this is 1972, not 2024. He would, They would send him up to bat here. Kirkpatrick on at second, Shaw on at first. Long way to go in the ball game. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 12. Durker, 4-3. Now that's a range play. Drago, 5-2. Nope, swing and a miss. Struck him out, and the inning will end there. First strikeout for Durker. No runs, one hit and a walk. And it will stay 5-1 as we go to the bottom of the second. I disagree with you, Brian B. I totally disagree with you because, remember, did not have large lineups in there. I do not think they would yank them so fast. I really don't think so. This is 1972. We're so used to common to modern day baseball. I disagree. They would yank him out. And plus, I don't know if the if the if the bullpen could hold up for eight innings. They would let him stay out there. Roger, not Metzger, but I'm not. I'm just going to disagree with you there, Brian B. I'm not saying you're wrong. I just won't. I can't agree. Cesar Cedeno will lead off for the Astros. He walked his first time up. Drago with the pitch. Drago, 3-5, strikeout, 16 is high. Cedeno, 1-5, and he grounds out to third. That'll be taken care of by Shaw, and that is out number one. Next batter is Wynn. Wynn got a base in his first time up. Drago with the pitch. Drago, 2-4, strikeout, 19 is high. Win 6-6, six, six, and that's a fly out to center field. Amos Otis will grab that for out number two. And now here's May. May is 0 for 1. Drago, 6-2. Range play at the park. Astrodome, 3-2. Ground ball right back to Drago. His range is a 1. 
He won't get it. It'll be a base hit right past him, and May will have a single. May gets his first base hit of the game. It will now bring up Watson. Watson is 0 for 1. Now, and if Rojas had gone on, they probably might have pulled the trigger. Strategy roll. That is a 2. May gets the steal sign. He's going. 15, 0. And Kirkpatrick a 0. May on his way to second. A 1 to 15. He is safe. And he is. Matter of fact, there's really not even a throw. As May will go ahead and get there, and he had no chance. So another runner in scoring position, stolen base for Lee May. Didn't have many of them, but he will get one there. Strategy roll again, nothing happening. Remember also last night, Don Wilson got, got shelled by the Royals early. I did not yank him early either. May on at second, Drago with the pitch. 1-4, that's a blank. Watson, 2-1, power hit to center field, that's an 18, holy cow, we just missed a triple, that's just going to be a die out there in center field, Amos Otis is at the track, he's at the wall, he's going to make the catch, side retired, and Watson can't believe he didn't get that. No runs and a hit for the Astros against the righty. A one, a 17 would have been a triple. The 18 saves Drago's bacon. And the inning is over. Still 5-1 Astros after two. Still lots of baseball to go. Top of the order for the Royals. Here's Freddie Patek. He's 0 for 1. Durker. He'll go ahead and pitch. 5-4, possible error. Patek, 6-2, base hit, center field. Patek gets a single. Center fielder is Cedeno. His error rating is a 5. That's a 2, and he's going to make an error out there. That automatically puts Patek on at second. Cedeno a minus one arm, a 1-3. One to three. Patek will take third, and he will. Wow, both teams making mistakes in the outfield. That'll be a single and an error for Patek. That's an E8. And the first error on the Astros. As Cedeno makes an error out there in the infield, on the outfield, and Patek goes to third with good speed. And now here's Otis. Infield's going to play. I think they played back and try to get the outs. And we're in the top of the third, not the second. Third inning. So here we are with the runner at third base. I don't think they play in. I think they play just to get the outs here with a five-run lead. But then again, do you really want to give the, the Royals any easy runs? Hmm. I wonder. What do you think? You think the Astros will play in or back this early in the game? What do you think? Anybody got an opinion? Before I roll this dice. In or back? Brian B. says back. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 19, although Otis gets the bunt sign, but he will swing. Durker, 1-4, strikeout 12. That'll miss. Otis, 6-6. Six, six. It's a fly ball to right field. That's going to be out number one. Otis, a sacrifice fly of two. He won't bring in Patek that way. Patek, base runner four. Hit the right field, wins a minus one, a one to three. He'll still score. He will. They still send him, and Patek will come on home, and it is now five to two as the Royals get one back. So a sacrifice fly to right. And now here's Shine Bloom. Shine Bloom had a bomb his first time up. One out, now on the top of the third. Durker, a 5-5, five, five. strikeout, 19 is high. Shinebloom, 1-5, that's a fly out to center field. This time, Cedeno will go ahead and get that with no trouble, and that's out number two. Next up is Mayberry. Mayberry's 0 for 1. Durker, 6-4, error on a throw. 
Mayberry, 6-5. Ground ball to second base. Ball is hit to Tommy Helms. His error rating is a 6. That's a 9. He won't make an error. He's got it. And over to first it goes to retire the side. One run, one hit, one error. Royals get a little closer. Now 5-2 to two as we go to the bottom of the third. Drago had a much better inning in the last one. They will keep him out there. Leading off for the Astros will be Doug Rader. He had a bomb his first time up. If Drago does allow another run, I will yank him. Drago will go ahead and pitch. Drago, 3-2, range play. Rader, 4-3, fly ball, right field. Going after that is Richie Scheinbloom. His range is a three. He won't get it. And that's going to be, that's going to be a single for Doug Rader. He gets a leadoff hit. So Rader hits that one and hits that one into right. And now the batter is Helms, infield a double play. Rader had five stolen bases. He won't get any here. Drago, 1-4, blank, Helms, 3-5, fly out to center. Amos Otis comes in, a cup, comes in a couple of steps and makes the grab, one down. And now here's Edwards. Edwards got a base hit his first time up. Raider stays where he is. Drago will pitch. Drago, 2-1, that's at the park. Astrodome, 3-2, and it's a grounder right back to Drago. 2-2, two, two. and Edwards is a lefty, so the shortstop will be the pivot, and that is Patek, and he's a plus one. So a one to three, it's a double play. No, Drago's only play was the first. So Raider will automatically get the second, and that is out number two. And now Durker the batter. Durker got a base hit his first time up. Larry Durker jumping up and down saying, DH, I don't need no stinking DH. Raider on it, second. Strategy, nothing on the four. Drago, two, three, strikeout, 17. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And the inning is over. And that is the first strikeout for Drago. So no runs and a hit for the Astros. 5-2 after 3. Still plenty of baseball left. Remember, no lead is safe an inside pitch. Top of the 4th. Leading off for the Royals will be Sweet Lou Pinella. He got a base hit his first time up. Durker. 4-3, range play. Pinella, 4-4, four, four. fly ball, left field. Going after that is Bob Watson. His range is a two. Nope, that's going to drop in for a double. Pinella leads off with a double in the left as Watson couldn't get that one. And already a big run at second base. And here comes Kirkpatrick. And he's 0 for 1. Pinella on at second. He will stay at second. Durker will go ahead and pitch. Durker, 1 6, walk 11. Ball four. And now the Royals got something going on. Second walk of the game issued by Durker. It'll now bring up Shaw. Shaw walked his first time up. Fans here at the Astrodome getting a little nervous. The tying run is already at the plate. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 16. Infield is at double play. Durker will pitch. Durker, 6-4. Error on a throw. Shaw, 3-6. And that's a fly ball to right field. That's going to be caught by Wynn for the out. And that is a 6, so there will not be a throwing error if Pinella goes. So base runner 3, hit to right minus 1. Win is a minus one, so Pinella will only take third on a one. And he will. Pinella gets this guy who was deep enough, and Pinella goes to third. 
And there's not a throwing error, so Wynn would not make a throw, so it would not make an error. So Pinello automatically makes third. Patrick stays where he is. So we'll fly out the right. Lots of everything happening in this game so far. Here's Rojas. Rojas is 0 for 1. Infield will play a double play depth. Pinella on at third. Kirkpatrick on at first. One out, top of the fourth. Astros lead 5-2, but the Royals are now threatening. Strategy. Nothing on the 13. Durker will pitch. Durker, 5-3. That's a blank. Rojas, 4-4. Four, four, and that's a fly ball to right field. And that will again be caught by Wynn for out number two. Rojas, a sacrifice fly of three. No. Pinella have to do it on his own. Base runner three. Win minus one. A one to two. Pinella will score. No, not deep enough. He can't come in. Two down. Could not get a run in. Drago now the batter. Now they're going to try something here and get Drago out. That will be it for him. As the Royals are going to say, sorry, Dirk. Sorry, Dick, you just don't have it here for the postseason. So now Dick Drago will be lifted, and he'll have to go back into the rotation, which he will. So now the Royals will go to the will go to the bench, and they're going to go ahead and pinch hitting is going to be. Pinch hitting is going to be Steve Hovley. 270 average, three homers, 24 RBIs. So the Royals go into the, go into the bullpen early here, but a big chance of runners at first and third. Two outs, 5-2 Astros. Steve Hovley will now go up against Durker. Fans here at the Astrodome hoping for a good pitch. Strategy. Nothing on the three. Nobody moves. Durker will pitch to Hovley. Durker, 6-2, it's a blank. Hovley, 4-5, and against the righty, it's a ground out to third base. That'll get played by Raider, he's got it. Throws to second to Kirkpatrick, and the inning is over. No runs, a hit, and a walk. A chance for the Royals goes by the board. We will go to the bottom of the fourth. Top of the order for the Astros, it'll be Roger Metzger. He'll lead off for the Astros. Royals need a pitcher, and they are going to go with, they're going to bring on Al Fitzmorris. For Fitzmorris, two and five, three saves, 374 ERA and 72. Fitzmorris has two holds and a save in this postseason. So he will come on to pitch. Against Metzger here in the bottom of the four. 5-2 Astros. Fitzmorris. 3-3. Three, three, walk. 15. That's high. Metzger. 6-6. Six, six, and of course, it's a base hit to left field. Either get a walk or a base hit as soon as I bring in a reliever. It doesn't matter. Single for Metzger. The Astros go. The Astros get the leadoff man on. And here's Cedeno. He's 0 for 1 with a walk. Infield double play. Metzger, 23 stolen bases. He does not get the steal sign. Cedeno, however, gets the hit and run. But he's going to swing away because he's got home run power. Fitzmorris, 5-6. That's at the park. Astrodome, 1-6. That's a ground out to third. 2-2-3. Two, two, Second base, pivot. Rojas, plus one. One to four. They got it. Two outs. As David Baker joins us here at the Astrodome. Maybe maybe Sedania, maybe they should have tried the hit and run. 5-4-3 double play. Hit and two by Sedano. Here's Win. Win is one for two. Two outs here. Bottom of the fourth. 5-2 Astros. Royals have a 1-0 series lead here in the 72 World Series. 
Fitzmorris, 6 1, blank, win, 4 2, base hit. How big is that? How big is that double play? It's a single pass third. So, win has his second hit of the night. It'll now bring up May. May is one for two with a single. Strategy, nothing on the 11. Win stays where he is. Fitzmorris. 3-2, home run chance, righty, 1-13, 20 is high, May, 2-4, and he grounds it to second base, getting over there is Rojas, and he's going to throw to first to get May, and that will end the inning. No runs, two hits for the Astros, but they have a 5-2 lead here after four. Time for a station identification, this is the RJL Network. We go to the top of the fifth. Astros with a 5-2 lead here as once again Dick Drago just cannot be any cannot be useful in this series. He's going to be he loses a game, he'll go to 0 and 4. And I don't know if I'm going to want to use him for a game 6 if it gets that far. I'll have to see. Top of the fifth though, 5 to 2. Freddie Patek leads off for the Royals. Durker is still in there of course. Royals lead the series one game to none. If anything, the Royals did do what they needed to do, win a game on the road. Durker, 2-5 against the righties. Strikeout plus 10. That's a 5. That's a swing and a miss and a steer right out. And that is strikeout number 2 for Durker. Next up is Otis. Otis is 0-2. Durker. 4-5 against the righties. Strikeout 10 is just going to miss. Otis, 3-1. That's a power hit to right field, but that 14 is going to be too high against the right-handed batter, and Jimmy Wynn is going to get to that one near the track, but he'll make the catch. Two down. Right-handed pitcher, I should say. And now here's Shinebloom. Shinebloom led off with a bomb his first time up. is one for two. As the Astros came roaring back. Durker, 1-2 against the switch left blank. Shinebloom, 3-6, base hit. Hits that one past third. Shinebloom gets his second hit of the game. It's a single. A chance now for Mayberry. Very dangerous. Mayberry is 0-2. for 2. Fans here at the Astrodome hoping Durker can get it done. Strategy, nothing on the two. Shine Bloom stays where he is. Durker gets the sign from Edwards and now will deal. Durker, 4-4, four, four. that's a blank. Mayberry, 3-4, and it is a ground out to short. Taken care of there by Metzger. He's going to throw to first to get Mayberry, and that will end the inning. No runs and a hit for the Royals. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Fitzmorris back on the mound. And Bob Watson leads off for the Strohs. He's 0 for 2. Fitzmorris, they'll go ahead and deal. Fitzmorris, 6-3, blank. Watson, 5-2, leadoff, double into left field. The Astros, the Bats were not awake last night. They're awake tonight. Double into left to lead off the inning. The Astros do know they got to tie this series up before going back to Kansas City. Raider is up next. He's two for two, a home run and a single. Watson on at second. 
They'll stay there. Fitzmorris will set up with the pitch. Fitzmorris, 4-5. That's a blank. Not tired. Raider, 3-4. Ground out to short. Taken care of by Patek. The throw goes to first. Watson, good speed. But he's not going to make it to third. He'll stay at second. So grounded a short, but Watson stays at second base. The next batter is Helms, and Helms is one for two. One out, five two strows. Watson stays put. Fitzmorris, three four. That's a pitcher result. That six is too high. Helms, one five, and it's fly to right. Shinebloom says he's got it, and he will for out number two. Watson, base runner four, hit to right, minus one. Shine Bloom, a zero, a one to three. Watson will take third, and it's a six. Another six. He could be out. No, he'll go back to second base. So a nice, so a nice throw in by Shine Bloom as Watson bluffed going to third to draw the throw. But he then goes back to second. Edwards is next, and he's one for one. Two outs here. Nothing on the strat. Fitzmorris, 1-6, strikeout. 17 is high. Edwards, 1-3, and it's a base hit to left field. That should score Watson. Watson, a base runner, five with two outs. Single to left, plus one is a six. There won't even be a throw. Watson will come around, and he will score. It's 6-2, to two, Astros. Stadium cheers. Yay! Edwards gets his second hit of the night. And the batter is Durker, and he'll bat. Durker, one for two. Now a 6-2 Astro lead. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 14. Edwards on it first. Fitzmorris. 4-4, four, four. range play, Durker, 5-5, th five, five. it's a fly out to center field, Amos Otis going after that, range is a 4, he's got it on the run, side retired, nice play by Otis, a one run on two hits. And the Astros now lead it six to two after five. Top of the sixth. Royals lead the World Series one game to none, but the Astros trying to tie it up. Leading off for the Royals will be Sweet Lou Pinella, and he's two for two. He's got a single and a double. Game two of the 72 World Series. Durker, one four, strikeout three, got him, struck him out. And that is the third K for Durker, as it looks like he's settled down in this game. Next up is Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick is 0 for 1, is 0 for, is, is 0 for 1 with a walk. Durker, 3-1. That's a walk, and that'll walk Kirkpatrick again. So Ed will take first base. Second time he's drawn the free pass. It'll bring up Shaw. Shaw 0 for 1 with a walk. Infield is that double play. Anything on strategy? Nope. Kirkpatrick stays where he is. Durker gets the sign in from Edwards. He'll go ahead and pitch. 4-2. That's a pitcher result. And against the righty, that 4 is going to be an automatic out. And that's going to be a ground ball to second base. 3-3-4. Three, three, Shortstop, Metzger, pivot 0, 1-4. Side retired. 4-6-3, double play as Shaw hits into it. Nothing across except a walk. It's the first time the Royals don't get at least a hit into the inning. And we'll go to the bottom of the sixth. It's 
time out here for a moment. Alfitz Morris due to lead due to bat second in the seventh. He can pitch to one more batter before he tires, and they're going to let him pitch. Roger Metzger, the batter for the Astros, he's two for three tonight. 6-2 Astros trying to tie this series up to guarantee all three games be played at Kansas City. Fitzmorris, 4-2, possible error. Metzger, 6-5, that's a ground ball to first base. Going over there is Mayberry. His error rating is a four. That's an eight. He'll take care of it. Fitzmorris comes over. Mayberry dishes it to him for the out. So one down. Fitzmorris is now tired. He says, let me get the job done here. Here comes Cedeno. He's 0 for 2 with a walk. Fitzmorris. 4-6. Range play. Cedeno. 6-4. Ground ball right back to Fitzmorris. He was excellent on the mound. His range is a 5. And he'll make it. Nice play by Fitzmorris. Jumps off the mound and throws to first to get Cedeno. And that's out number two. And now Wynn. Wynn is two for three with two singles. Fitzmorris sets up against Wynn and pitches. 3-4. Pitcher result. 14 is high. Win. 3-6. And that's a ground out to second base. Cookie Rojas will get over there and get it. And for the first time in the ball game, the Astros are retired in order. 1-2-3 go the Strohs. But they got a 6-2 lead after 6. Top of the seven. Leading off for the Royals is Cookie Rojas. He is 0 for 2. He is 0 for 2. Durker will go ahead and pitch. He can pitch to three, four more batters before he tires. Durker, 4-4, four, four, blank. Rojas, 2-4, ground out to first. Lee May will handle it on his own, and to the bag it goes, one out. Fitzmorris did a pretty good job. He will come out of the game, and the Royals will go to the bench, and coming on to pinch it is going to be Bobby Floyd, 179 average, no homers, and five RBIs in 72. So Floyd will go ahead and bat against Durker. Durker, 4-5 against the righty. Strikeout, 13. Cold strike, 3 on Floyd. Got him. And that is the fourth K for Durker. Two away. And now Patek. Patek is 1-3, for three, a single. Re got an extra base on an error and scored. Durker with the pitch. Durker, 1-3, error on a grounder. Patek, 1-1, one, one. nope, fly ball, center field. Cesar Cedeno is going to get to that one. He'll make the catch and retire the side. 1-2-3, go the Royals. And right now it looks like the Astros are going to probably tie this series up. We are at the seventh inning stretch. Sing, take me out to the ball game. I'll be right back. Don't forget, still plenty of time to go ahead and vote for the next season of Inside Pitch to start July 1st. 
1969, 1970, 2000, and 2010 are your four choices. Please place your vote in the community tab on my channel. And of course, that vote details how many dice each season will roll, okay, in order to get to the top season and to see which season will be done. You still got plenty of time. Voting does not end until I start the season review and reveal show. And we got pl you got plenty of time to vote for those of you who have not voted. For those of you who have, thank you very much. For those of you who haven't, get that vote in. You still got plenty of time, though, for the vote for the next season of Inside Pitch, which will start July 1st. Bottom of the seventh year, Astros lead 6-2. Royals lead the series one game to none. Lee May leads off for the Strohs. Royals need a pitcher. And they are going to go with Tom Bergmeier. Tom Bergmeier, 6-2, 9 saves, a 4-2-3 ERA. Bergmeier has one win and one loss in the postseason. So he will come on to pitch against May. That's right, Brian B. You cannot count votes anymore and see who's already in there. That's one of the, you. You know that's one of the reasons why I decided to make it a little bit random now. So even I don't know what season it will be. Bergmeier will pitch. Bergmeier five four against a righty. Walk plus ten, of course. And that's a fifteen, and that's a walk. Just walked him, as a matter of fact. May is a five, becomes a fifteen plus one is a sixteen, and he goes ahead and walks May. Again, I bring in a relief pitcher. The first thing he does is give up a hit or a walk. Here comes Watson. Watson is one for three with a double. Infield, a double play. Strategy rolls are off. Bergmeier, one three. Error on a throw. Watson, three one. That's a ground ball to first. That ball is hit to Mayberry. His error rating is a four. That's an 11. Now, he will not make an error. Let's see if there's going to be a double play. One, one, one. Shortstop pivot Metzger is a zero. So only a one, it would have been a double. It could be a double play. It's not. So the only play that the first baseman has is the second base to get May. So May is thrown out at second. Watson will make first on the fielder's choice. One down. And now the batter is Raider. Raider is two for three, a home run and a single. Brian B., what season does it matter? Your Reds don't win anything anyway on my network. Just like just as just like my Mets. Watson on it first. Strategy rolls are off. Raider is up having a great night. Two for three, including a bomb. Bergmeier, six three. Range play. Raider. 2-4. Ground ball to third. That ball was hit to Shaw. His range is a 2, but a double play, it's a 1. He won't get it. And that's going to be a base hit. Watson does not have the speed. He's pretty fast, though, but he'll hold it second base on a single pass third. Raider having a great night. 3 for 4. And the batter is Helms. Helms is one for three. Infield still a double play depth. Strategy roll. I don't know why I'm on strategy. Doesn't matter here. Runners at first and second. Astros looking for more. Bergmeier. Three, four. Walk. 15. That's high. Helms. Four, six. It's a ground ball to first base. Let's see if they turn it now. Two, two, two. Shortstop. Pivot. Patek plus one. A one to three. It's a double play. No! Watson gets the third. Raider thrown out. Helms takes first. Two down. And now here's Edwards. On another fielder's choice. Edwards is two for three. Bergmeier trying to keep this where it is. He's really the left, he's really the left-handed uh he's really the lefty specialist here. But he's going to go against Edwards here. So 6-2 Astros, two outs. Bergmeier with the pitch. Bergmeier, 3-6, walk three. That's ball four. 
He walks Edwards. And now he's tired. And the batter is Larry Durker. And they're going to pull him. He's done his job. So they're going to take Durker out of the game. Here in the seventh. And they'll bring in a pinch hitter against against Bergmeier, and it is going to be it is going to be Larry Howard, 223 average, two homers, 13 RBIs. Larry Howard, the other catcher, he may take over for Edwards. So Larry Howard pinch hit. Bergmeier is tired. They're going to take him out as well. And the Royals will have to go to the bat. We'll have to go to the bullpen again. And they're going to go ahead and try to get one out if they possibly can. Although he's really not due to bat for eight. That, that could actually, they could go to Abernathy now. So coming on to pitch for the Royals is going to be Ted Abernathy. Abernathy has one win, three holes, and a save. He will now try to get Howard out here. Two outs is a big at bat for the Astros and for the Royals. Watson on at third, Helms on at second, Edwards at first. Abernathy will pitch to Howard. Fans here at the Astrodome know Howard can break this game wide open. Abernathy, 3-3 against the righty. It's an automatic out. Can you believe it? He's not going to walk or give up a hit. And it's a fly out the left. Lou Pinello will come under it. He will make the catch, and the inning is over. No runs, one hit. Two walks and a couple of fielder's choices. A big chance for the Astros go by the board, but they still got a four-run lead after seven. We go to the top of the eighth. Let's see what the Astros want to do here. The leadoff batter is Metzger for the Astros in the eighth, in the bottom of the eighth inning. Amos Otis is the bat. Amos Otis is the leadoff batter for the Royals, and I think the Astros are just going to bring in another pitcher because they had to. I don't think they need to bring him in. I think they'll uh, keep uh, Edwards. Edwards is better anyway. So the Astros need a pitcher. And coming on to pitch, it's the eighth inning, and they're going to go ahead and bring out George Culver. Six and two with two saves, a 305 ERA. Culver has been excellent pretty much as the closer slash stopper. He has one win, three holds, and two saves. Culver has been excellent for the Astros since Gladding went down early in the postseason. Yeah, the 1969 Mets. Uh, I doubt they would do well. You never know. You never know. Culver will pitch to Otis. Royals got to do something here. Down four runs at the top of the eighth. Culver, 2-5, strikeout plus 10. Swing and a miss, struck him out. He got Otis. Actually, that's a called strike three. He tried to hold up, but the umpire down, but the umpire at the first base line rung him up. And that is out number one as he gets Otis. And now Shinebloom is two for three, a home run and a single. Culver will pitch. Culver, 6-2, walk one. Now that's definitely ball four. And Shinebloom will trot to first. So Shinebloom reaches base for the third time to get today. It'll now bring up Mayberry. Mayberry is 0 for 3. Infield a double play. Culver coming in to pitch to make trip, doing what pitch to Mayberry. 6-2 Astros. Royals lead the series. One game to none. Culver, he will pitch. Culver, 4-5. That's a blank. He's not tired. Mayberry, 4-2. And against the righty, it's a base hit past second. Shine Bloom will have to hold at second base. He doesn't have the speed. He'll hold. But Mayberry gets a big time hit. And now the Royals got something going on. Runners at first and second. 
Here comes Pinella. Pinella's two for three tonight. Pinella's got off to a very slow start in this postseason. He is now racking up the hits. Steeler fan joins us here at the Astrodome. And I know he brought himself, and I want to, Steeler fan, did you bring plenty of dome foam with you today? Shine Bloom on at second, Mayberry on at first. Astros lead 6 2 here in the top of the eighth, but the Royals are threatening now. No strategy roll. Culver will pitch. Culver, 6-2, walk three, and that is ball four, and the bases are loaded. And the tying run is coming to the plate. And it's in the form of Ed Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick is 0 for 1 with two walks in this ball game. And the bases are loaded here with one out in the top of the eighth. Fans here at the Astrodome suddenly just went, got a little nervous. Kirkpatrick will bat. Shine Bloom on at third. Mayberry on at second. Pinella on at first. The infield is going to play in and try to get the double play home to first. Culver, he'll go ahead and I'll actually you know what they'll play double play depth. They'll play double play death. Double play death. You don't want to ruin your. Uh, you don't want to ruin it so much there. So they'll play a double play, give up the run, and try to get the outs. Culver will set up against Kirkpatrick. The stadium is loud once again. Six two Astros, top of the eighth. Culver will pitch. Six one. It's a range play. Astros going to have to play some defense. Kirkpatrick. 5-6. It's a fly ball to right field. Going after that is Jimmy Wynn. He's on his horse. He wasn't too bad. Wynn is after it. His range is a three. He's got it. Two outs. What a play by Wynn. Kirkpatrick, sacrifice fly of two. He will bring in Shine Bloom, though. Mayberry will stay at second base on the sacrifice fly. It's six to three. They do get a run. What a play by Jimmy Wynn. Kirkpatrick can't believe he got it, but they do get the run in. On a sacrifice fly to right. And now the batter is Shaw with two outs. Now a six to three ball game. And Shaw is going to, he's going to hit. He is going to hit, or will he? He's going to hit. Shaw's going to hit the ball here. He was their main third baseman in 72. I'll keep it in there. So Mayberry on at second, Pinella on at first. Now a 6-3 to three ball game. Tying run still at the plate. Culver, got to be careful with Shaw, has a little bit of home run power. Shaw's got two bombs in the playoffs. Fans are loud. Culver gets the sign, and he'll pitch. Culver, 2-1. That's a pitcher result. Righty, 1-20 is an automatic out. And that's going to be a fly ball to center field. And Cedeno is going to get to that one. He'll make the catch and retire the side. One run. One hit, two walks, and a sacrifice fly. A big chance for the Royals goes by the board. But what a play by Jimmy Wynn as we go to the bottom of the eighth. Bottom of the eighth inning. Ted Abernathy will stay on the mound for the Royals. Top of the order for the Strohs. Here's Roger Metzger. And Metzger is two for four with two singles. 6-3 Astros. Series is 1-0 for the Royals, but the Astros are looking to tie this series up. Abernathy, 3-6, strikeout, 15 is high. Metzger, 1-6, ground out, right back to the pitcher. Abernathy will take care of it. And over to first it goes. 
Next up is Cedeno. He has really cooled off. He's 0 for 3 tonight. Cedeno looking to get a big hit here to continue his hot batting in this postseason. Abernathy will pick. Abernathy, 5-5 five, five against the righty. It's an automatic out. And it's a ground out to short. Taken care of by Pontek. Takes his time over to first. Two down. And now here's Wynn. And he gets a nice ovation from the Astrodome crowd. That was a huge range play out there in right field. But Wynn is having a good night tonight. He's two for four with two singles. Abernathy. Abernathy, 3-1, walk, 16, ball four, and Wynn will trot to first. And now the Astros looking to get some insurance, and here's May. May is one for three, a single and a walk. Win on it first. Abernathy will pitch to May. Fans here at the Astrodome hoping for a big hit. Abernathy. 6-6, six, six, strikeout, 17, that just missed. May, 4-2, it's a fly out to left. Lou Pinella will come under it and make the catch and retire the side. Nothing across except a walk. Astros lead it, 6-3. to three. But will we see some ninth inning magic? I know Steeler fan definitely wants to see some ninth inning magic. I know he definitely wants to see some ninth inning magic. Culver, he can still pitch to three more batters before he tires. He is going to pitch. Cookie Rojas leads off for the Royals in the top of the ninth inning. Steeler fan says no magic. <laughs> Culver will go ahead and pitch to, Ro to Rojas. 6-3 Astros. Culver. 5-4. Range play. Rojas. 1-1. One, one. Fly ball left field. Going after that is Bob Watson. His range is a 2. No, it'll drop in for a single. And Rojas is the leadoff batter and he's on base. Single for Rojas. Infield goes a double play. Abernathy coming out. And we will see a pinch hitter. And it is going to be Carl Taylor. 265 average. No homers. 11 RBIs in 1972. So now the tying run is on deck. Carl Taylor will now bat against Culver. Top of the ninth inning. 6-3 Astros. Rojas on it first. Strategy rolls her off. Here comes the pitch from Culver. 4-2 against the righty. It's a blank. Taylor, 2-4. And it is a ground ball to short. 2-2-3. Two, two, Second base pivot. Helms plus one. A one to four. It's a double play. No. Rojas thrown out at second. Taylor beats the throw. One out. Fielder's choice for Taylor. It will now bring up Patek, who has been clutched this entire series. Patek is one for four. Tom Griffin warming up for the Astros in the bullpen. They want Culver to see if he can fin get at least another batter or two. Patek now up. Taylor on it first. One out, top of the ninth. Culver will deal. Culver, 6-2, walk, 6 and that's ball four, and the tying run is coming to the plate. Runners at first and second, and the tying run is Amos Otis, and that'll be it for Culver. So the Astros will go ahead and go to their next best guy, and that's going to be Tom Griffin. Five and four, three saves, three, two, four ERA. Griffin has two wins, three holds, and a save for the postseason. He has done very well. So now Tom Griffin will, will pitch. Tying run at the plate in Amos Otis. 
Six to three Astros. Fans here at the Astrodome are loud. Griffin sets up there. Otis looking for a big time hit. Griffin with the pitch. Five, five. It's a range play. Someone's got to play defense. Otis, three, six. It's a fly ball to left field. Going after that is Bob Watson. He's on it. His range is a two. No, we can't get it. And that's going to be a double for Amos Otis. Otis, it's a double to left. Taylor will come in to score. Patek, a base runner, four. Double to left, minus one. A one to three. Patek will score, and he will. Patek will score. Otis to second. Two runs in it, six to five. Stadium groans. <sighs> Amos Otis with a huge clutch double. The tying run is in scoring position for Shine Bloom. Shine Bloom is two for three, a home run and a single. And Otis is now at second base. Infield is back. And the fans here at the Astrodome suddenly have gotten very nervous. Otis on at second. Griffin will pitch to Shine Bloom. The tying run is still at second base, but Shine Bloom is one for is two for three tonight. A home run, a single, and a walk. Fans here at the Astrodome are once again loud, cheering on Griffin, trying to get the final two outs of this game. But it is now six to five. Otis on at second. Strategy rolls are back on. Nothing on the twelve. Otis stays at second. Griffin now deals. Here it comes. Four one. He is, that is a blank. He is not tired. Shine Bloom. One, two, and it's a ground ball to short. That'll get taken care of by Metzger. The throw goes to first for out number two. And Otis, he will go to third. So a grounder to short. And now the last chance for the Royals is John Mayberry. Mayberry, one for four. Griffin will go ahead and pitch to Mayberry. Yes, the fans are still on pins and needles. Otis is on at third. A wild pitch brings him in. Two men down. Astros lead six to five, but the Royals are saying not so fast. Fans are loud. Strategy. Nothing on the 17. Otis stays at third. Griffin gets the sign from Edwards. And Mayberry is waiting for it. Here comes the pitch. Griffin. 1-1. One, one. It's a blank. Mayberry. 3-3. Three, three. And it's a ground ball to first. Lee May is going to go ahead and get that. Runs to the bag. Jumps on the bag. That's your game. The Astros escape. With a win here in the night in this game, a six to five victory for the Astros. This series is tied. Stadium cheers! Yay! But they get out of it. Two runs on two hits and a walk. But Mayberry grounds out to first. As Lee May will get there. And this series is tied at one. How big was that insurance run in the fifth? Big victory for the Astros. But the Royals almost came back and took it from them. But they are going to go to Kansas City Municipal Stadium with the series tied at one. So we're guaranteed all three games at Kansas City.
tomorrow night will be game three of the seven of the 1972 World Series between the Houston Astros and the Kansas City Royals. Ken Forsch will be going for the Astros, and Paul Splitorf will be going for the Royals. Should be a good pitching matchup tomorrow at Kansas City Municipal. The series is tied. Who will take the lead? Tomorrow night, Astros and Royals, game three of the 72 World Series. Be there or be square. David Vega, Steeler fan, Doug Hunt, XXESG2, Vita Productions, Jeremy Brooks, uh, Brian B., Phoenix Knight, uh, let's see, John Haverly, and uh, hmm, always got to try to get here, Clee Baseball fan, My Basement Media Productions, Joel Turney, Joshua Miller, Jimmy Jam, and DB. Thank you all for joining me tonight. Please leave a like on your way out to the turnstiles. Subscribe if you're not done so. Make sure you hit the bell and don't forget to vote. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart, stay strong. We'll see you guys tomorrow night. The Houston Astros escape a close one here. They get a 6-5 to five victory over the Royals. This 1972 World Series is tied. One game to one. Who will take the lead? You'll have to wait 24 hours to find out.